we have one closed mouth position keyframe here already. And so basically all we're going to have to do here is just copy that and paste this in between the places where the mouth is open. We're assuming here that essentially for every syllable, we're going to close the mouth between every syllable, which is not necessarily what would happen in real life, of course. But again, this is not meant to be realistic. So if these two are open position, open mouth position marker points here, we should just be able to get the closed position by positioning it in between those two points. So again, just selecting that closed position keyframe, copying that, and then pasting it in there. And we're just going to go along through here and paste these in in between the open mouth position keyframes. Just dragging through here and just roughly positioning these. And we can adjust these, of course, later on, if necessary, to tweak these up. But again, because of the nature of this, it's not really important to be too awful precise here. It's just, this, of course, is very stylized. This is not meant to be realistic. And of course, now we need one final closed mouth position keyframe. Now, if we drag through here, you'll see the thing is just bouncing up and down. And if we do our RAM preview, and if everything has worked out well, let's show the whole timeline here, we should get a reasonable, or at least functional, lip sync. I am a serious composer, and this is my serious composer face. I am a serious composer, and this is my serious composer face. Now, some of those work a little bit better than others. Maybe we should adjust couple of these positions here a little bit and see how that looks. I am a serious composer and this is my serious composer face. So it's possible that it would work a little bit better here if we adjusted some of these forward to anticipate the opening of the syllable, to anticipate the opening of the mouth. And remember, these were alternating here between closed and open mouth positions. So if we adjust these things, we just got to make sure that we don't get confused about which is which. So these are the open mouth positions. And of course, these are the things that are going to be lined up with the markers. There's only a couple of frames here, so we just want to make sure that we don't put things on top of each other too much. Only a couple of frames to work with, that is. So let's just tweak some of these forward a little bit to try to anticipate a little bit better the opening and closing of the mouth and line those up with those markers a little better. So I'm just kind of sliding everything forward a little bit. Maybe we'll do this one. And then we'll do a preview when we're done here. That's probably a little too much. It may well be better here to have the mouth open before the syllable rather than later. If we anticipate, I think probably we'll get just a little bit better animation effect as a result. So let's see what that looks like. I am a serious composer, and this is my serious composer face. So all in all, that's not bad at all. Let's actually turn on a little bit of motion blur for that layer. And again, scale it down. Let's bring it down to something that will let us see the entire thing. We'll get that out of the way. Let's see what that looks like. I am a serious composer, and this is my serious composer face. I am a serious composer, and this is my serious composer face. Now, that's not bad at all, in terms at least of the stylized look that we're going for here. One last thing I think we want to do here is actually bring this up a little bit and adjust the teeth, the lower teeth, so that they will actually move up and down a little bit too. So what in fact should happen is that if we are opening the mouth like this and the jaw is actually moving, those lower teeth should move as well. So what we'll do is do a little bit of tweaking. And again, we'll do that pretty much the same way that we did it here, 
with these mouth position keyframes. Let's close this down here a little bit. We can still see our markers, so that's good. The Let's see which is which here. Yeah, there's our lower teeth right there. So what I want to do is, as the mouth opens, when it gets to about here and shows those teeth, I actually want to start moving those teeth down a little bit. So let's solo position, do a position keyframe right there with the teeth in position. And we'll move to our first, like so. And we'll just adjust these teeth down a little bit, just a couple of pixels, so that they're going to slide up and down along with the jaw. But not until the jaw actually starts moving a little bit. So you see that the mouth opens up, and then the teeth start to move as well. And now we just need to take those additional keyframes that we just did and paste those in there as well. So we'll do that next.